I know that I can stay. I know that I can stay. No matter what comes my way. No matter what may come my way. Jesus, my life. My life is in your hands. Shalom and welcome to today's Nugget of Hope. Today I want to share with us on what I've entitled, Don't Just See, Have a Vision. Don't Just See, Have a Vision. Now, Helen Keller was a lady that was born blind and deaf, and yet Helen Keller beat all the odds and graduated, became the first ever graduate uh, person who was born blind and deaf. She went ahead to write books and was a great speaker all over the world. One day she was asked, what would have been worse than being born blind and deaf? And she said, to have sight and no vision. What would have been the worst thing other than being born blind and deaf? Our answer was to have sight and no vision. You see, when you have sight and you have no vision, you go for the things that are immediate, the things that are tangible, the things that can be seen, mundane things. But when you have vision, you see beyond what the eye can see. And people that have achieved a lot in the in life are people that have vision, not necessarily sight. There are so many people with two eyes, but they have achieved nothing because they have no vision. But there are people that are blind and yet they have achieved a lot of great things. Why? Because vision is more powerful than sight. And so today I want to encourage you, not just see, but have vision. Don't just have two eyes, have vision. You see, when you have a vision, you can see beyond what sight can show you. And people that have succeeded in life are people with a vision. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 29 and verse number 18, that without a vision, a people perish. Now you realize that uh, when people perish, they perish with all their dreams, they perish with all the songs they could have sung. They perish with all the books they could have written. They perish with all the success they would have achieved. And so I want to encourage you today, don't be satisfied by just seeing. Go for vision. Have a vision so that you can be able to bring out all the songs that are are stuck in you and all the books that are in you and all the success that is in you, all that is awaiting for you to be able to explore the vision that is in you. Don't be satisfied by just seeing go for vision. Thank you so much for watching. These are Nuggets of Hope with Bishop T. Hang on, joy is coming. I know it is.